Hello friends, Sentinel H here and welcome to a brand new game. This is Osiris New Dawn. Let's get right into it, shall we? <clears throat> so this is a build as a crafting survival exploration title in space. Well, not in space, on a planet. Uh, created by Phoenix Flare Entertainment, published by... Wait, I forget the name of the company now. Reverb Triple XP. <laughs> yeah, it came out recently. So it looks like, and it's in early access, so um, it looks like we had the choice of two different factions, the Space Pirates or the uh, Not Space Pirates. We're going to go with the Not Space Pirates just because there's, there's not going to be much difference. We're playing single player. The game is multiplayer. We're currently in offline mode. Um, there's uh, four different classes, although we can only select scientists. These three are uh, unavailable. They, they, they're either coming soon or only available in multiplayer. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what you get to do. You get to choose your class and choose your faction. And then we get to customize. Oh, we get to change the color of our spacesuit. Now the game looks really nice. I like the... Uh, graphically, it looks quite nice. So let's let's like kit out our, our dude. Okay, so there's only a limited color palette to choose from. You know, I kind of like the his basic colors. You know, too bad I can't make more parts of him gold. That's a cool, uh, cool color. We could change the glow though. We could have a nice uh, golden glow. How about that? Yeah. And we can name our guy. We're gonna name our guy Sentinel H. There we go. Let's create our dude. Okay. So it looks like we've also got the ability to customize the actual planet. Single player is perfect for practice and learning your character's tools and abilities if we're jumping into the live universe. Single player is the full campaign, but you'll be all left all alone. Alright. We can also adjust our universe rules. We can turn down the number of aliens, alien attack damage, alien health, adjust the resources, recharge rates, loot chances, and XP levels. We're going to leave it all at the defaults and, uh, and launch our game. All right, here we are. Proteus two, third moon of Theseus Prime, day one. Sick! Look at those floating rocks. Why would there be floating rocks? Oh, we got a soup reach. Okay, diagnostics complete. Inflatable. Oh, we got stuff here. We got survival kits and stuff. Okay. We have some sort of critical breach. How do we fix it? Patch tape. Um, is it in our survival kit? Uh, do I just have it? I don't know. Oh, here it is. It's number three. How do we use it? Can be used while equipped or straight from inventory. Well, I'd appreciate it if you would actually use it. Okay. So we're not dead. Ah, our O2 levels are going up. No, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. We got a hammer. A map. Okay, so we got like a handheld map here. That's kind of cool. And a chisel. Well, let's actually take all this stuff. And it's the an inflatable dome kit over here. Now, they provided me with a bit of a little tip guide when I, when I got this uh, code from them. So uh, Reverb uh, su supplied me with the code for this game, so uh, thanks to them. What that? Another suit breach? Are you kidding me? I didn't even bump this very much. 
Complex material. Used to build inflatable dome. I happen to know that that's, this is the first structure that you really want to build. We've got like a, a personal assistant drone here. Alright. We can hit V to change the perspective of the camera. Pretty cool. Character animation looks really nice. A little bit slow. But I think the, the character animations apparently use inverse kinematics to some some description. What do we have to do with this? Go to the structures tab and select the inflatable dome. Okay, so we can hit structures. Ah! Goodness. <laughs> Alright. Well, we've got an inflatable dome. Uh, we can rotate it with left and right. Okay, that's cool. Why don't we, like, I don't know. That looks good to me. Hit F. Hold the action button longer to build the object with more health. Okay, we'll just do 100%. Sweet. Inflatable dome owned by me. Oh yeah, this is how you like save your game. Oh, there's plants sticking through the bottom of my inflatable dome. So if I activate this, I save it. It looks like there is a, a cooldown for saving. Five minute cooldown for saving the game. So now you... We want to build a forge. Search for minerals to build a forge. Well, what minerals do I need to build the forge? Where are we anyway? Ah, we're at 7.4, 17.6. They recommend that you write this down um, until you get beacons apparently later. Later you'll get like a beacon. Alright, the character running animations look really nice. And apparently we also have a booster pack. Ah, oh, yeah. It's in our feet. We are Iron Man. Ah, so we've got iron. So I assume I whack it with the chisel. Alright. <laughs> we are very strong, apparently. Just a couple of whacks with this chisel and that whole rock is gone. Search the planet for the right materials to start building a forge utility. The forge is an outdoor crafting table that can be used to build more complex materials. Navigate to the utilities tab to view the build requirements. Okay, utilities. Forge. I have enough iron. I also need titanium and plutonium. Well, thankfully, we can see plutonium over there. I like the perspective. I like like the slight over the shoulder shifted to the right perspective instead of like straight back. Now apparently we can also have this guy do stuff for us. Um, but we'll talk about that later, I guess. Whoa, there's like dudes over there. I'd better equip my uh, assault rifle. Because we're going to get into some combat over here. So I gotta say that the terrain does does look suitably alien. What is that guy over there anyway? Are these things hostile? They they're probably hostile. Aluminum there. This is the plutonium we need. Well, so far they're not coming at me. Oh, I'm encumbered. Okay, so I'm carrying too much crap. Eh, that's fine. If 
apparently it's not fine. But at least they don't like stop me in my tracks. So yeah, I'm moving a bit slower. Sprinting drains my uh, O2 very, very quickly. Oh, <laughs> and it starts going ba boom, ba boom. So is O2 also? Well, we've got our health to the left. We've got our hydration, pressure in our suit. Okay, what else can we build? Because we need to build a depository outdoor storage container. I need titanium to build this, but I gotta drop some of this crap off. I got too much junk. Can I just drop it on the ground? Yeah, I can just drop it on the ground. Hopefully it stays there. We gotta go get some of that aluminum. Just gotta grab some of that aluminum and then we can build a depository, like a you know, a chest to place these uh, our stuff. Are these guys hostile? I really don't know. By the way, we can turn off that glitch effect. Like if you don't like the glitch effects, you can turn those off in the options. This is just aluminum and iron. I gotta find titanium. So each of these rocks is apparently two. And I've already over encumbered myself again. But that's enough. That's 20. I think that's enough for the depository. So yeah, it's a bit slow to start because of the you have to run around and running is not very quick. And when we're over encumbered, we're quite slow. How do I get this robot to do stuff? What's that blue meter on the robot? Is it running out of power or something? I know I can control the robot. I just don't know how. Alright. So we're back. So we should be able to build now our... Oh no, we need iron for the depository. Oh no, those uh, plutonium and iron rocks disappeared. Uh, well, that confirms that. You can't just drop stuff on the ground. But I don't have any storage, so I need to grab some iron before I can do that. So they really should have you build the depository before the forge in the little mission thing. Because if you drop stuff on the ground, it disappears. That's too bad. I dropped some plutonium on the ground, and that appears to be the uh, more rarer resource. Oh, there's aluminum over here as well. Even know it's that. I love how quickly you can bash that stuff down. I still don't have enough iron. Now I do. So I do like how it doesn't, how be, being encumbered doesn't like totally stop you from moving, like some like like those old, uh, you know, like RPGs and stuff that had weight carry limits. All right, so let's build this depository. It's a lovely little chest. It's a very large chest, actually. Let's 
stick it there. I'm not really sure why this hold to build thing is even a thing. It's an outdoor storage container where you or your droid can drop off resources. Good. So, how do I command the droid to get me stuff? Okay, if I want to build a forge, I need titanium. Is that titanium over there? Yeah, being encumbered sucks. You move very quickly when you're not encumbered. You can run. It's more iron. There's definitely a lot of iron. And aluminum. The game does have like dynamic music. Wait, what? <laughs> so, oh, what? Oh, well, I didn't know you couldn't touch that. Man, your suit can be breached by the, the, the tiniest of things. I don't think I like that. I mean, it's it's pretty it's decently realistic. But is that an aspect of realism that I would be willing to drop? Probably. So you really can't touch anything. See, I wish that they pointed me in the direction of some titanium. Because right now, I'm just running... Running around looking for it. No idea where it is. There's some crazy spider thing over there. We should stay away from that. There's another one right there. See, this all just looks like iron. See, that up there is the only thing that looks different. <coughs> is that titanium up there? It's gonna be something. Let's go find out. Oh, I gotta worry about, I gotta worry about, about, about my temperature as well, apparently. So what is that up there? Lead. That's not titanium. Well, it's freaking nighttime. I've been looking literally all day for titanium and I still haven't found any. This is a, a bit of an issue. I can't find any titanium, which means I, I can't build a forge. This is a problem. As part of the tutorial here, where it tells you to find titanium, they should really mark some on your map. And apparently, horrible beasties come out at night. So yeah, it's not not particularly ideal. It shouldn't be this difficult to find a resource that you're asked to gather as the very second quest. Like, I ran all the way up that mountain and I fat up that hill there and I found copper and lead which I don't need but I can't find titanium flashlight looks pretty cool I like how it reflects off of things it's too bad using the bed doesn't change the time of day though like that would be the ideal thing <laughs> Well, let's come in here and check it out. So, eventually we'll be able to build a habitat. And instead of just living in this dome, we'll be able to build, like, an actual base. Where we can grow food and stuff and do some sort of research. 
vehicles and spaceships, which might not be in the game yet, but which would be coming. Solar panels, these beacons that let us add uh, gas tanks, flag. <laughs> Yeah. Satellite dish. Furniture. So it is useful furniture as well as. Ah, so that's how we get. Ha okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's too bad I can't do any of this because I can't find titanium. <sighs> well. This was our first look at Osiris New Dawn. <laughs> we'll come back and um, I'll look for some titanium. I'll keep I'll keep looking for titanium. And uh, when I find it, we'll be back uh, in the next episode. So yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned for future videos. I'm Seth LH. And I'm signing out. <laughs>